This was the first time national celebrations displayed a politically unified nation since 2013. The spirit of newfound friendship between President Uru Kenyatta and opposition leading light Railo Dinga, evident at the Kinoru Stadium in Meru. Still, amending the supreme law remains a thorny debate. We must also be honest enough to admit that changes to laws or processes is only a part of the solution. The work we are called to do is to build trust and then change hearts and minds. Milo Dinga taking the podium to assure Kenyans that a new nation is in the process of being born. Tuliketi chini. Natukutamua wakati meawadia. Manayake meka hamsini na tano. Tumekua tunapigania tupigania tu hapa na pali. Kushikana tuungani pamoja. Tualete wa Kenya pamoja. We admit that we have made mistakes in the past. But we also have a great opportunity of transforming our society to forge ahead, guided by past experiences, and we must focus on the future. You have our unqualified support as you pursue the unity of our country, bringing all our communities together. <laughs> For now, the country awaits a report from the 14-member advisory team established for the Building Bridges Initiative. Having been gazetted yesterday, the Paul Mwangi Martin Kimani-led team is expected to deliver its findings and recommendations within the next 12 months. <laughs> Meanwhile, at least 20 people were left with various injuries when a tree collapsed from the weight of those who had climbed up to get a better view of proceedings at the Kinori Stadium national celebrations. From Meru County, national festivities now shifts to Western Kenya with Mashuja Day on the 20th of October expected to be held in Bukungu Stadium, Kakamega County. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV, Kinoru Stadium, Meru County.